Father's Day, May 26th. Pretty sure my fat loss stall is over. <laughs> Morning guys, I'm going to go do cardio right now. It's Thursday, May 26th. Yesterday I had a high carb day. You guys saw that I had my Froyo refeed per usual and my weight did not go up after my high carb day, which is a very good sign because typically that would mean um, if, I, if it didn't go up after the high carb day that my macros are set at a good spot and then I should drop a little bit lower tomorrow, which I'm so happy about and I feel a little bit leaner so I finally feel like I'm on track. It's crazy how perception can change when you're on prep so if you're looking at yourself one day you can feel like literally a whale and get so frustrated and suck in your own head that you don't look good and you're never going to go on stage and then the next day you can feel a little bit leaner and then mentally tell yourself that you're ready to go on stage tomorrow so perception can kind of change your mindset can kind of change when you're in prep especially when you have a deadline so i highly recommend that anybody who can um, considers doing a prep is already mentally all set and confident with yourself before you even begin considering going on a prep because prep will make you uh, reevaluate yourself every single day so make sure you're mentally um, confident and make, make sure you already have a positive self image of your body and you don't have any body dysmorphia you don't have any eating disorder issues um, prep exemplifies all of those things so please 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 if you're considering competing um i would i would i would start please if you're considering competing um i would take a look into yourself first and foremost and ask yourself why you actually want to compete that's my little rant for the morning i'm going to go do some cardio i have 350 calories i'm going to do some hit cardio today and i'm ready to freaking go I want these words to make things right but it's the wrongs that make the words come to life but who does he think he is if the worst you got but it puts your fingers back to the keys one night and one more time thanks for the memories even though they weren't so fair he tastes like you you the sweetest place called life food organic right now I can't find the good light where's the good light here we are it's like such a cute little spot and we're here to just do some work we're waiting for Emily are you fucking snapped <laughs> I hate Maggie so <laughs> she thinks it's really funny that like we vlog all the time <laughs> Anyways, back to you guys on YouTube, just talking to my camera. Um, we're just getting some work done today, and it's Randy's last couple of days in California, which is really sad. Yeah, so sad. <laughs> but um, we are working on getting her a present. I just went to Target, and we got her, well, she wanted some outfit because she doesn't have this in Canada. So we picked her up a couple of these, and then I picked her up a picture frame, and we're going to like put a bunch of pictures of all of us in a picture frame, and then we're going to get her like... What did we say? Oh, we're gonna like make her macro-friendly brownies and, and banana bread, and yeah. So we're just waiting for that. There she is. I really don't like buying soda in bulk because 
I try to limit my intake and I usually just run to CVS and get some, but I have been getting it literally every single day, so I figured save some money. Got this at Target, and then I got these sparkling ice packets in Target as well. For Target finds, I got chocolate glazed donut coffee. It does not taste anything like a chocolate glazed donut, but I am dieting and I can pretend. And then I also got um, half-calf coffee, and I know that people might make comments about saying decaf, there's no point of it. But um, I am starting to take my fat burner now, so I don't want to overdose on caffeine. So we're going to go with half-calf for most of the days. If I'm taking my fat burner in the morning, we will do this. Something else I picked up, Oreo Thins. So I can't really necessarily fit these, like, anytime, um, except for maybe a high-carb day. But the servings are the same exact thing as normal Oreos, except you get four instead of two. So I can do two of these for half the macros of a regular uh, serving of Oreos. So, so these are basically like, wow, these are like shitty. <laughs> so I can have two of these and it would equate to one regular Oreo and then when you're dieting, you know that volume eating is important. So volume Oreos basically. And then I can put these like in my, um, in my Froyo, on my Froyo refeed. So I'm gonna do probably three or four of these on my refeed on Sunday, which I'm excited about. Alrighty, last meal of the day here. I made some PE Science one carb waffles, obviously. And then I have um, three quarters of a serving or 12 grams of uh, 12 grams of puffed corn cereal. And I cooked it in the skillet with a little bit of cinnamon and butter spray. So this will be my last meal of the day and it's about, uh, 7.51 at night, and we're gonna do that, and then just have some tea the rest of the night and relax. It happened! Finally broke through that fat loss plateau. After doing the low carbs for, I did one low carb day, a high carb day, and yesterday was a low carb day. And three days ago, I was 120 and I was consistently 120 for an entire week, which is a high for me. And then um, I hit 119 two days in a row, and today I was 117.8. So, like, we're back on track, fam. We're good. This is what we're working with today. I feel super lean this morning. I woke up, I was like, yes. So I'm flaring my lats right now, and that's why my waist looks super small. This is normal. This is flex. And waist was 23.5, or 23 to 23.5 this morning. And this morning I'm going to Barbell Brigade, and I was supposed to go with Maggie, but she has a fever, so I'm just gonna go alone and train. Taylor's coming up because she's competing tomorrow, so we're gonna do the whole show day again. I'll show you guys tomorrow's show. I actually know a couple other people competing in the show tomorrow, so I'm super pumped to get to the Culver City shows and get back to being motivated because going to shows is like super motivating for me. It's really fun. Can't wait. I'm gonna show you guys the whole day. Y'all see me every single morning when I wake up. I'm like, I'm just gonna start filming and not put makeup on yet. All right, off to Barbell Brigade. I just quickly wanted to mention, um, I just got a Snapchat from a very nice girl this morning named Erin. She's Erin Lee Fit on Instagram. She basically just wanted me to mention that um, in my other video explaining that I gained three pounds of lean body mass, that isn't necessarily all going to be muscle. So lean body mass also includes like bodily fluids in your organs. Obviously my organs didn't grow, but I could have been also retaining some water and um, fluids could have a part in that. So I just wanted to clarify that I didn't necessarily gain three pounds of muscle, um, probably some muscle, but not necessarily all of it. What's going on guys? This was Friday and I went to Barbell Brigade today to train. I've been going to Barbell Brigade like once or twice a week lately. I normally train at Gold's Gym Venice, but I've been powerlifting style training lately and the atmosphere at Barbell Brigade is really amazing. Everyone there is so, so nice and I've been going there a lot lately, so I came. I had a white monster, obviously. Mixing it with my PE Science High Volume, which is the pump product that I always use and mix with a monster. 
Today we um, filmed my workout. My workout today was overhead press squats and then overhead press again. I've been doing a lot of overhead press lately because as I lean down, my, my upper body usually loses muscle more quickly than my lower body. So overhead press squats and overhead press again. I was actually filming with Nadim for Barbell Brigade's YouTube channel. So if you go to their YouTube channel, there's a video from this day. Um, up with a little bit of an interview from me and a little bit of clips from that workout as well. Really high quality stuff, an awesome channel, so go check them out. Um, I am recording this voiceover on Monday, May 30th, so some of you may have seen on my Instagram and on my Twitter, Snapchat, that I actually broke my wrist yesterday, um, broke my arm yesterday, so I will be telling you guys more about that on Wednesday morning's video, so that'll be up on Wednesday and you'll get more information about exactly what happened and whatnot. So um, I'll keep you guys posted, especially with uh, how the rest of this prep series is going to go in terms of what I have to do um, with recovery and rehab and whatnot for my arm. But I'm going to let the rest of this footage play, and you're going to see some clips from my overhead pressing, and then uh, a friend hit a deadlift PR this day, and I'm just going to let the rest of this footage play. I appreciate all of the love and support, guys, as always. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the footage. got these in the mail white on white ultra boost I'm so excited um, I've been needing some new white sneakers so treated myself I also got this <laughs> which is a toilet paper holder and I also got a milk frother things you buy on Amazon and I also got a cool computer case not gonna lie that looks pretty sick that looks clean Nice. I also got this thing just in case I spill something on the keyboard. Perfect. So quick backstory, Taylor, my friend who was in my um, a couple of vlogs back, she's competing again tomorrow and she's on her way up here right now. She's probably about like 30 minutes away or so and I was just gonna run to the grocery store and get her like her um, some vegetables for tomorrow and stuff and I have to go pick something up at the post office so I walked out of my house my phone was at 1% battery because I leave my phone until it almost dies and I was just gonna like plug my phone into my car. So I walked to the house, had my phone charger, I closed the door, locked the door like I usually do. I don't have my keys. I walked out of my house with my, so I basically locked myself out and I was wandering around with my phone um, on 1% battery and I was like, so usually my property manager is walking around. Luckily, I only walked around my apartment complex for like five minutes until I found him and I was like, Hey, help. <laughs> Fuck. Carbs are getting to me? I don't really know. What's going on, guys? It is 10, 15 at night, Friday, May 25th. Just here recapping the last two days for y'all. So um, today I had a new low weigh, and I told you guys that. I was really excited about that. It wasn't a new low, totally, but um, it was very close to my last low weigh-in. And um, I felt pretty good about that. Aside from that actually working, today was the first day that I felt pretty like tired, exhausted, 
uh, my brain was really foggy, I was really stupid today, like I locked myself out of my house. Um, not sure if I would have done that otherwise. I'm also noticing myself getting a little bit more cranky, a little bit more fatigued, um, especially during my cardio. Today was the first day that I almost skipped out on the last like five minutes because I was like, all right, close enough, but I ended up finishing it. But it was my first day that I thought about doing that. All other days of cardio so far and lifting actually, um, I haven't had the thoughts to not finish yet. So today that happened, but it's normal, it happens. Um, I'm going through prep like I, um, but it's normal, it absolutely happens. And um, if you guys are struggling with not having motivation or you're not uh, feeling excited to go do your workouts, number one, I would recommend making sure that you're enjoying your training, making sure that you love everything that you do. Um, when you're in a deficit, it makes it harder to love what you do because you're just kind of too tired to complete everything. So it kind of makes you like resent training a little bit. But if you already don't like it to start with, um, it's going to make it even worse and you're just going to hate going to the gym. You're going to hate food. And then by the time you're actually done with prep, you might not feel that same exact motivation as you used to. So I would highly recommend finding something that you love to do. And I love love lifting like I love lifting heavy um go check out the barbell video that I did today um it's on barbell brigade's youtube channel if you go to barbell brigade it's called um heavy lifting lifting heavy for bikini or something like that I believe um I just kind of talked about what it means to me to lift heavy to be powerful to be like a strong female in the gym and focusing on that for my training because it's something that I absolutely freaking love. So I would recommend doing something that you love like I do. And um, yeah, so it's 10.15 and I usually go to bed at like 12.30. This is pretty early for me. So I'm gonna like knock out work really soon and go to bed because I'm getting pretty tired. But tomorrow's my last low carb day of my depletion and then I have a high carb day on Sunday, obviously getting Froyo. Randy uh, is going to come with me because it's Randy's like second to last day here and then um, Monday I'm busy with meetings and stuff but this video will go up on Monday so happy Monday night or happy Monday morning if you guys are watching this and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you watch all the way till the end comment below I love you guys so much thank you for watching